Okay, let's see how to download and install the MongoDB in our operating system. I will show you how to install MongoDB in the Mac OS, but the installation process for Linux and Windows operating systems should be similar. Uh, let's search for MongoDB install Mac and here we see that there is a link for installing the MongoDB community edition let's click on that here we see that uh, there is a documentation which shows us how to install the MongoDB community edition on Mac OS uh, MongoDB has a community edition and enterprise edition uh, community edition is free and since if you watch this video which means that you want to learn the MongoDB you will also install the community edition of the MongoDB uh, also in the left in the sidebar you can choose the version you want to install uh, we will install the version 6, the current version, but you can uh, install other versions if you want. Uh, and here in, the, in here, in this part, you see different operating systems such as Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, uh, which you can select and see the documentation of how to install the MongoDB depending on the operating system you have. Okay, let's go over this documentation. Here there are some uh, different informations about the uh, MongoDB installation. It says that from uh, in recent versions of the MongoDB, the installation of the MongoDB uh, installs the MongoDB database tools automatically. If you click on this link, you can see what are these MongoDB uh, database tools. They are tools for administration such as backup, monitoring, import export, and okay. Let's jump to this part, which is the install MongoDB community edition. Okay, we need uh, to install. Uh, these two Xcode command line tools and home uh, brew to uh, install MongoDB uh, this, these are for the Mac OS you may see something different in Linux or Windows operating system let's first install these two copy this and now in the terminal I paste this command which will install the Xcode command line tools. Okay, it says that you have already installed uh, this app in your operating system. Let's uh, switch back to the browser. It says that we need to install Homebrew. Let's see how. Okay, copy this command and paste it in your terminal. Okay. Okay, it says that you, uh, we need to add the password here. Okay, the installation was uh, successful and let's see what are the next steps. We close this website and okay. Here is the installing MongoDB community edition commands. 
okay let's copy this it says that brew tap mongodb okay let's paste the command here okay then the next command was brew update let's run that too and the other command is here I just copied and pasted the commands uh, that are in the website okay now let's go back to the website uh, we have run all these three commands and okay it says that uh, these commands have installed three things the mongo d mongo s mongo s and uh, mongo sh which is the shell for mongodb the first one is the daemon process and this one is for shared cluster uh, query router and it says that uh, the location of the directories are, uh, are like this for the intel processor of mac operating system you should go to this directories and found found the uh, mongodb information and for the new versions of the Apple uh, M1 and M2 processors, you need to go in this location and see the information for uh, MongoDB. Okay, let's check that in uh, our operating system. My operating system has Apple M2 chips, so I need to go to uh, these directories let's go cd opt homebrew and here to etc okay ls and here is you see that we have this uh, mongodb.com file and if we go back ls now uh, here we have the var directory let's go to the var ls and here we see that we have mongodb let's go to mongodb ls nothing is here let's go to cd log ls there is a directory for mongodb logs let's go to there ls and it is empty for now so uh, you can check the location of the uh, log and also the configuration of the mongo db database you can find them uh, from the information in the website as i did it okay let's uh, go back to the website and see how to check that our installation was was successful okay here we need to run the MongoDB Community Edition. In macOS, there are two options to run the MongoDB uh, daemon process. 
and as you read here if you read here you can see that they recommend the they recommend the first approach and so we will uh, do that same with this command we can start the uh, mongodb community edition the daemon process and uh, with this command we can stop that process let's copy this command and run it in the terminal let's clear the terminal first and paste the command here okay enter okay the process has started and okay let's go down here there's a note which says that uh, the macOS may prevent MongoDB from opening in that case we need to read here and perform the actions that are needed to do okay and here to see that to verify that mongodb is running we need to run this command and when we run this command we should see mongodb community listed as a started process uh, let's go to the terminal again okay let's paste this command And in the list of services, we see that MongoDB community has the status of started. Okay, so it is running. It also says that we can check the logs of the MongoDB here. Let's uh, check that too. Navigate to CD opt CD opt homebrew var logs CD MongoDB ls and here we see that now there are two log files. Let's check head of mongo.log. Okay, here we see the information in the log file. And let's check the information in output.log that's empty. Okay, that's it. So we have uh, installed the MongoDB and we run the process. And let's check what else needs to be done. Okay, the next step is to connect and use mongodb and for that it says that use this command mongo sh okay let's do that first clear the terminal and type mongo sh okay now we have connected to the mongo uh, database and we can check for example show databases and here we see the current databases that are in the MongoDB. So that's it. We have successfully uh, downloaded and installed the MongoDB. We run the uh, daemon process in the background and we check the log files. And now we connect it to the uh, MongoDB database using this mongo sh command and uh, we can continue our journey to learn mongodb the installation process in other operating systems such as linux and windows will be uh, similar and you can run through the documentation uh, it is a good documentation and exactly uh, shows you how to install the mongodb in your operating system